Welcome to the last Life Group of the year. We're so glad that you're a part of this. Over the course of this fall, we've been talking about virtues, the virtues that allow us to live faithfully and fully as followers of Jesus Christ, the ways of life that help us live as Christians. And so far this fall, we've talked about prudence, we've talked about justice, and we've talked about fortitude. And today we're going to talk about temperance. Now, when you hear the word temperance, you may think back in history. There was a time in America in the early 20th century when the temperance movement led to prohibition, the prohibition of all alcohol sales in the United States between 1920 and 1933. That's somewhat of the definition of temperance, but temperance is really a much broader concept, a much broader virtue. virtue. Temperance is really about moderation. It's about balance and what we consume and use, whether that's alcohol or food or the things of life or clothing or the houses we buy, the vehicles that we use. It's about finding a way to have what we need, but not allow what we need to control us, to use us. And I think this is an important time of the year for us to be talking about temperance because it's the Christmas season. It's these weeks leading up to this celebration of Christmas. And often Christmas is not about moderation. Christmas is not about balance. It's about this all out rush to get what we want, to get what we think we need. In fact, if you ask a child, if you go home tonight or if you ask a child what they think about Christmas, what they're going to do is they're going to talk about all these things that they want. They're going to talk about the list of things that they've given to Santa. In their minds, Christmas isn't about moderation. Christmas is about wants and needs and about things and stuff. And as we grow up, our idea of Christmas expands even further. We fill our calendars. We fill our days and our nights with parties and things and places to go and, and so much stuff to buy, so much stress that emerges in this season. And what's ironic is that the Christmas season in the Christian year is really about waiting and patience. It's really about this understanding of temperance, that in life there has to be this balance, this moderation, so that we can receive the gift of God, the gift of Jesus Christ. So how do we, how do we begin to move towards a more temperate life, a life filled with moderation and balance? I think it means we have to be honest. I think that's one of the first steps. I was talking with a friend not too long ago about Halloween at his house, and he said that, he said that uh, when they were putting their child to sleep, they went ahead and just put the bowl of candy out on the porch. So if anybody came up, they could just grab some candy and move on. They wouldn't have to ring the doorbell or anything. And he said after he got his kid uh, put down to bed, he went back uh, to the front porch and he looked out the window as he was approaching. He saw a kid reaching not just for some candy in the bowl, but for the entire bowl. And this child emptied the entire bowl of candy into his Halloween bag and then ran off. I think that's how we live in life. That's our agenda in life. We just grab for everything that we can. And we have to admit, I think, first off, that that's our natural way to live. But scripture, I think there's a scripture in Luke 12 that you read tonight that helps us understand this, this temperate, of this temperate living, this living with moderation. In the story, Jesus says this to a group of people. Jesus says, take care, be on your guard against all kinds of greed, for one's life does not consist in the abundance of possessions. Right after that, Jesus tells a story about a man who was successful and kept building bigger and bigger barns and filling these bigger and bigger barns. But in a twist in the story, the man dies before he can enjoy anything that he has accumulated. Jesus' point is very clear, that when we put our trust and our security in the things that we can amass and collect in this life, that it's just an illusion, that they'll never give us security, uh, they'll never give us the fulfillment that we desire. Jesus goes on to say at the, the end of the story, he says that these are people who are not rich toward God. And what Jesus is pushing us towards is an understanding that if we want to find true security in life, if we want to really find fulfillment in life, it's about being rich toward God. 
And what that means is giving up any idea of control. It means the understanding that God will provide for us. And a way to clear room for that to happen is to live with temperance. To live with this virtue that says we're going to live in moderation. This virtue that says we're going to live with balance in what we want and what we need, what we have to have, and what we're not going to have. And this season around Christmas is the perfect time, I think, to begin to practice temperance as a virtue in your life. Let me challenge you to do some things. Uh, start with this, this Christmas season. Set your limits. Set your limits for what you're going to spend. Set your limits for how you're going to spend your time. And then live within those limits. Another thing that you can do is have honest conversations with family members and friends who are going to feel the need to buy you something. Be honest with them about what you need and what you don't want them to do. Maybe encourage them to give what they would have spent on you to your favorite charity, to your church, maybe to give it to some other need, some other family that you know of. And maybe this, the best thing that you can do to, to nurture this virtue of temperance during this season is to worship. Create time and space in your life to worship at home. Read the scripture of the Christmas story and, and find time and space to worship with the community. Make Sunday mornings a priority for you and your family. Yes, it's busy. It's a crazy season. Maybe you want to spend Sunday mornings just in the bed. But spend some time worshiping so that during the season when so much comes at you, you're centered on waiting patiently to receive the gift from God. That's how you can nurture temperance in your life. That's how you can practice being rich towards God. Thank you.